What's up, people? It's your boy, Fishing Football. A um, little bit sick. It's, it's gotten pretty cold out here, so uh, just disregarding that. But <clears throat> part three, man, Billy Napier and the Gators, what's going on lately? So now we've we've basically lately, we've had a lot of uh, personnel uh, people, you know, a lot of people that you won't ever hear their name again, more than likely if you're a casual fan. Um, uh, you know, like, the you know, analyst positions, you know, recruiting director positions, you know, things like that. Uh, the big one we got was Katie Turner. Got her from Georgia. Um, a lot of Georgia fans went online apparently and were really salty about it that she left uh, uh, them for us. Um, but we got her and apparently she's really good at her job. <clears throat> They're probably salty because uh, they can't look at her anymore. You know, whatever. Um, <clears throat> but we just this morning got Jack Miller from Ohio State. It's been rumored for a little while. It finally happened. The four-star quarterback from Ohio State. Didn't really play much there, but it's going to be really good to have him now. Uh, with Anthony Richardson and all his injuries, you know, Anthony Richardson is going to have his surgery, which is good. So I hope he stays healthy. Uh, but if he doesn't, we got a backup now. And I've heard that uh, Billy Napier is going to go for a one in the class, too, uh, and in this recruiting class. Don't know if that's true or not, but if he, if he doesn't or does, it, it won't really bother me anymore now that we've got a good backup uh, because the other two quarterbacks that are in the room have never taken a snap for Florida. So <clears throat> so that's going to be a good thing. And it'll also, it's also really going to keep the quarterback battle, uh, uh, you know, it's going to be competitive at this point now because Jack Miller – uh, he's not coming here for nothing to not play. So uh, I, I wish I knew how many years of eligibility he had, because I but I'm not sure. Um, but so with that being said, we now the, with the wide receiver coach we got, we got um, uh, Kerry Colbert from USC. Um, as of late, I mean USC has always had pretty good wide receiver play, and then you know he's got Drake London that was over there right now. He's probably going in the first round. <clears throat> so good get there. Um, a lot of other little things. I'm gonna put it all at the on the, on the screen at the end just so that you can see it. I've got a little list of them I got off Instagram, so I'm going to give you all that. Um, <clears throat> it's looking like we're not going to have an offensive coordinator. Um, it, 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 that kind of bothers me because um, Dan Mullen never had an offensive coordinator and one offensive line coach. Now we're going to have two offensive line coaches, and you're going to see when I put this thing on the screen, we're going to have three offensive analysts, and we're going to have um, uh, an offensive analyst slash quarterback uh, uh, analyst. So... That's probably going to be helpful. Like I said, these are people that you're not going to really know their names after you, you know, after we hire them. Once they get to work, these are the grunt work people. I mean, you're never going to hear their names again. But this is the these are the people that are do the work and they're the building blocks of the program. So um, we never really shouted out these people or announced they were their hires. Um, but Billy Napier seems to want to do that, and that's great. I think you know just for recognition and just so everybody knows and is aware of what he's doing and 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 putting together. So all that to say, that's that's great and all. So. <clears throat> but what do we have coming up? I think that, um, you know, we've only got 10 commits now, and, and now we got one transfer uh, quarter, at, at the quarterback position. I, I think he's really recruiting very slow and meticulous, but I think when it's all said and done, we're going to have a decent recruit, recruiting class in a, in a year that we really shouldn't have a good recruit, uh, recruiting class. Uh, you know, a transition year is never a good year usually. Um, it wasn't with Dan Mullen, but we know, we know for what reasons that was. So, um, but I think when it's all said and done, he's going to be able to pull some players um, – now, as far as early signing day went, I, I, I made that part two before early signing day, which wasn't very smart on my part. But we got Kamari Wilson, big five-star land. Only was in the recruitment for, for probably two weeks max uh, and landed him. I mean, Billy Napier went out and really got him. You know, he really wanted him. Um, Shamar James, who was a commit to us before our season went to a disaster, a four-star linebacker, really a really highly rated linebacker, actually. Um, he's coming back. Uh, Billy Napier wanted him, went and got him. He's back. You know, we got Christian McClellan. Um, we got we got a few good names, um, Tony Livingston. And so the class is looking okay right now. But like I said, only 10 commits. we still got 16 spots to fill if we, if we want to fill that many. Um, we're probably not going to fill that many. I, I would guess probably around 20 um, if, I, if, I, if I had to guess. But some good work there. <clears throat> and I expect the recruiting classes to get nothing but better from here. Um, but let me know what you guys think, man. Just try to give you a, a quick update. Got the sniffles out here. Um, but yeah, man, we'll see y'all like and subscribe. I appreciate y'all and deuces.